Hi everybody, my followers. Uh, welcome to another video. There's a little bit of glare today. Ah, it's better like this. Um, so, welcome to another video. Uh, this video today is on uh, 2005 7 series uh, with the 3.0 uh, liters uh, diesel engine. It's a 730D. Uh, chassis is the E65. And uh, this car came to me with a few issues. Uh, one of the issues you might have seen or you might see a video for it, which was uh, related to the DSC uh, light being on on a dash. Um, uh, another issue that the car came with, it came with another one. I don't know if I'm going to make a video for it, which is the navigation. Uh, but... The video now is to focus on an issue with the engine. So the car uh, does not go above 40 miles per hour. Uh, I um, I haven't drove the car. Uh, this is the complaint. Uh, I haven't drove the car, uh, so I couldn't test it. But uh, there, by the way, there's no engine light. Okay, I can't start the engine now because I already start to work on a car. Um, and uh, the car does have the following faults, but if you run the engine, there's more faults that comes up. Uh, but as for now, this is the pressures we have. Uh, I had the engine running for about 20 seconds, and that's when these faults came back on. Uh, the throttle body comes back on as soon as you turn the ignition on. Uh, um, or as soon as you cycle the ignition. Uh, it comes back, it comes on straight away, even if I delete it. Uh, this top one... Uh, comes back on if I start the engine and uh, this middle one uh, it comes back on obviously if he requests the Glowplex to be activated um, that ends with these two um, this one is showing not present um, and this is showing not present obviously because um, I start the engine and turn it off turn the ignition back on and the code goes and not present um, but as you can see, is a back pressure sensor bank one, uh, the top fault. The fault we are focused on now is this bottom one, uh, throttle, valve actuator, activation. Um, this fault is obviously related to the throttle body. Um, you might be or might not be aware that these throttle bodies, due to the way they are fitted, uh, the way they are assembled uh, just before the EGR, uh, with the electronics facing down, uh, they tend to get filled with oil. Um, I've cleaned it already. Uh, I've cleaned the throttle body already. So I can't really show you that. Uh, but you're going to see the remains of some oil inside of it. And uh, also um, we're going to find out, see if we can repair the throttle body. So the throttle body was pretty much flooded with oil. Um, and obviously it was not, was not working. Um, but I've opened it already. I'll show you how I've opened it and uh, I will show you where the fault is because I've seen it already and we're going to see if we can repair it. Okay, so here it is the throttle body. You can still see the remains of the oil. It's not completely cleaned yet. I've just cleaned it with a little bit of uh, spray, uh, but surely you can still see the remains of the oil even on the PCB and all that. And uh, hopefully everything is okay with the throttle body, other than what I'm going to show you in a minute. Oh, by the way, to open this, this is how I've done it. You do a little cut on the corners of the cover. Okay. These little cuts, and then obviously you just... Uh, wedge something on the sides and you start to pull it and it comes off quite easily okay so we gave it a clean uh, much better now okay uh, and uh, what I'm gonna show you now is uh, where the problem is so we're gonna go under the microscope because otherwise it's gonna be quite difficult to see uh, but I'm gonna show you under the microscope where the problem is okay Okay, so what I'm gonna show you under the microscope. So this is the pins, okay, oops, that. 
So there is three pins connected on the loom, which is these first three here, okay? The middle one, so forget these ones here. Uh, actually there is there is three, but there is there is four pins on this plug. Okay, as you can see in there. There is four pins, but there's only three connected. Uh, there's only uh, connections on three and the three that are connections on the cars loom is these first three here, okay? So I've measured it. This middle one is a 12 volts uh, This one here if I'm not mistaken is the ground and then this one here um, uh, I believe is going to be possibly the signal uh, the signal for the to the throttle body Communications, I, I don't know, it must be something like that. I didn't really look on, on, on the diagrams or anything like that, so but I know for a fact that this middle one is 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 the voltage feed because I have battery voltage on the cars loom on this pin. And what I'm gonna show you here is right at the bottom of this pin on the PCB, that's where I'm gonna show you now on the microscope. And I'm gonna try to do this without stopping the recording because I have read it focused everything let me have a look and gone oh, come on it's not exactly like that too much ah there it is and gone come on there it there it is let me just focus a little bit better there it is okay let me Leave in there, so there it is. Okay, so this pin here, here is the solder for the pin that comes from the plug. And look at that. Can you see this area? It's a kind of a fuse that then feeds obviously the PCB. That it's gone. So obviously, because the throttle body was filled with oil, obviously um it's shorted something and uh and uh it burned uh, the fuse. So what we're gonna do is uh, resolder a uh, fuse in there, um, and um, we're gonna resolder a fuse, and hopefully that will sort the problem um, for the throttle body. Um, in order for this to not happen again, as well, uh, if we fix the problem by replacing the fuse, another thing that I'm gonna do so the the throttle body fits on the car or sits on the car, something like this. Okay, in a sort of a rear hanger like this. So all the oil we just starts to fill. So the throttle body fits like this on the car, something like this, and obviously the oil just goes through the shaft into the inside of the throttle body and just fills the thing up. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna drill a very small hole right here underneath. Okay, so any oil is gonna drip straight out. Okay, so but for now we're gonna repair that fuse. Um, I'm gonna drill the rear hole. I might not gonna record that. I'm gonna put the cover back on. I'm gonna use a little bit of uh, black silicone because you can't really compress the the cover anymore as it was originally. So in order to seal this properly, uh, we're gonna put a little bit of uh, that black sealant. Uh, the hole in there is gonna be a really thin hole. It's gonna be like I don't know a mill maybe. Uh, um, a drill bit with a, a mill or something like that something really small um, and we're gonna put everything back together um, and then we're gonna try on the car see if the code goes away uh, I'm not gonna record all this off you know uh, put it back together and all that I will record I will show you in the end when we have the, fu the fuse back uh, in there or when I think I'm just gonna put a little wire or something like that that will work as a fuse something like that he should do um, and uh, so yeah so just stay tuned uh, we're gonna put the fuse and then uh, we'll be back okay so we have the new fuse in place as you can see in there uh, and that is no more than I know it looks quite big but that's basically you see this multi-core wire that is basically one of these wires uh, let me see if I can show you I can probably see a little bit better here. So it's one of these thin wires only. Okay, it's the only thing that runs across there. It's one of these wires. Um, it might not rate the same 
as the other few as the original fuse maybe a little bit more uh, but uh, it should do the job um, and that's it uh, I'm, before I've, I've closed this down um, I'm going to um, try on the car just plug it in and we'll see straight away if it works um, and I will try to record that obviously so and then obviously as I said we'll close everything and put everything back together okay and um, I've just done a scan to the car so the throttle body I don't know if you can see in there right there it's just plugged in open and everything but it's just plugged in in there and uh, I've just came here to scan the car again and as you can see the code 43E2 throttle valve activated and activation it went from present to not present uh, straight away on the first scan uh, so straight away I believe we solved the problem but uh, as you know um, with the ignition on uh, the engine ECU will be constantly adjusting the position of the butterfly uh, of the throttle body so uh, what we're gonna do we're gonna just see if it's actually doing that so uh, let's gonna have a look and then uh, we'll see if it's adjusting or not okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna force the butterfly and you're gonna see these doing tiny adjustments you might gonna see some smoke coming out from down here that's because there's still oil and maybe some of the cleaning stuff in the brushes okay hopefully you could see that can you see the motor adjusting First of all, the rest position is right there at the back, and you can see it's pulling it forward straight away. But and the pressure it does is quite a lot compared with when it's turned off. But hopefully, you can see all the tiny. Look, look! Can you see that? The motor adjusting its position, so it's working just fine. Yep, it's working. Let's gonna close it down seal it and uh, I think that's it uh, as I said let's gotta close it down uh, seal it do that little hole to drain any more oil that uh, eventually gets in there and uh, and hopefully we are good to go okay so this is the next day I never had the chance to uh, get it finished yesterday uh, today is not a very good day now but um, um, basically I know I said that at the start of the video we'll be uh, try to fix the 40 miles per hour speed limit problem um, I don't think I'm gonna capture that on this video um, we found the problem with the throttle body the throttle body is in place as I said um, I, I drilled the rear hole at the lower point of that uh, PCB case uh, right at the bottom so if any oil gets through which eventually will uh, it drains uh, straight away through that uh, little hole we did I think I did a two mil drill bit um, we sealed everything put the cover back on um, and um, and the throttle body fault is gone uh, I haven't drove the car yet so I'm not sure if that problem has been fixed although we found another problem we found another problem uh, and I just decide that I'm going to make a separate video for it. So I do apologize the start of the videos uh, talking about the 40 miles per hour um, because I think the 40 miles per hour is actually related with the DPF system. Uh, there is a few faults as you may have seen on the scans um, for the DPF and I have a feeling that's going to be a completely different problem uh, perhaps caused by the throttle body the throttle body is highly used during regenerations uh, in order to increase the temperature um, the throttle body uh, starts to close a little bit to allow more EGR 
and the engine to uh, warm up a little bit more. Uh, but I will take you through all the the settings, all the all the principles, and how everything works um, when uh, on the regeneration systems uh, on this car, on this engine. Um, and I strongly believe that's going to be why it's causing the 40 miles per hour. I don't think the throttle body is doing that uh, whatsoever. Um, so well, I will do a separate video, completely separate video for that. I just to apologize for the start, like I said, when I mentioned the 40 miles per hour. Um, I, I'm going to make this video to focus on the repair of the throttle body, which we did. Uh, it's all back in place. Um, and uh, that's it for today. Um, I, I just hope you enjoyed the video. hope there is uh, some information here that you're going to be able to uh, use. If you have any questions, any comments, uh, you know, put them below. And like always, thank you for watching.